Well, good morning again, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Once again, Einstein's Bagels, having my morning coffee. <laughs> and man, I'm telling you, it is a beautiful day. And my question to you today is this. Are we going to have a 2023 Honda Goldwing? If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to Cruise Man's Moto Vlogs. Uh, do this usually once or twice a week. Haven't been lately because I've been out of town. And I've been having GoPro issues, which I'll talk more about here in a little bit. You probably saw me when I was getting on the bike. I was doing some stuff with my GoPro on my helmet. I have a GoPro Hero 10. Actually, let me just go ahead and tell you the story now. <laughs> Uh, but before I get into that too hard and heavy, I would like to remind you that if you're passionate about motorcycles, take a second to click that subscribe button down below and don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will remind you, let you know when we come out with new videos. I don't think there's any way in hell I'm going to get out of here today. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock and this is the peak traffic period. Sometimes I'll get lucky. If he wouldn't turn and left, I could do it. Okay, I'll just go this way. Do it the long way. So anyway, um, I have a GoPro Hero 10 Black on my helmet. I have a GoPro Hero 8 on the handlebar. And right before we left town for Alaska, we just got back from Alaska last week. We were gone for a week, but right before I left, the last moto vlog I did, I got home and I got my files off my GoPro and there was no audio from my helmet. And none of my, none of my audio, so I ended up having to do a voiceover, I don't know if you could tell the difference, and then I did that moto vlog, another one, just a couple days ago. I get home, I put all the files on the computer, and no audio something of what in the hell is going on this is a new problem i've never had this problem before and now i've had it twice in two motor vlogs so i take everything off the helmet i put everything on my desk and i'm testing the microphone i'm testing the wires i tested my microphone on another just by plugging it directly into my phone and testing it that way it worked fine my, no problem with the microphone and I'm thinking, well, maybe it's this media mod, this little case that it goes in. But uh, I never could quite determine what the problem was. But I did notice that, and I didn't even realize this until I started doing the testing, that there actually are audio meters on the, uh, on the GoPro. When it's in the media mod, it does show you little audio meters. And then I tried it even without the external microphone, and I wasn't even getting audio with the built-in microphones on the media mod. So it could be a problem with the media mod, I just don't know. So I went ahead and reset the GoPro back to factory settings. I installed the newest, latest firmware. And I don't know if it's working or not. I know that sometimes I turn it on and I get the audio meters. And sometimes I turn it on and I don't get the audio meters. I'm not sure if this new firmware update is going to solve the problem or not. Hopefully we have audio right now. Anyway, that's my GoPro. If you're using a GoPro Hero 10 Black and you're having this problem, please put it in the comments down below. Let me know. I never have a problem with this GoPro Hero 8. And what's really interesting is the day I'm trying to solve this problem, they just came out with the new GoPro Hero 11, and I was just getting ready to hit the buy button. Getting ready to spend another $500 with GoPro. And now I'm wondering if I'm going to buy another GoPro, because I just don't, I don't know how reliable they are. I may end up going to an Insta360, so we'll see. 
So as I started the video, I asked the question, is there going to be a 2023 Honda Goldwing? I haven't heard any announcements officially from Honda. I haven't seen anything. Nobody sent me any information. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to skip a year model. I do know I've seen information from Honda saying that they're having trouble getting cargo, getting motorcycles shipped to the U.S. But there is one tiny bit of a glimmer of hope that there that there will be a 2023 model. I don't know if it'll be called a 2023 Goldwing, but I, in other words, I know there was a lot of concern a while back about is the Goldwing going away? And um, I know that I got a email from my contact at Honda a couple of days ago, and he informed me that they are going to be shipping me a Goldwing to review. Now, he didn't say if it was a 2022 or a 2023. If it's a 2022, I would suspect they're going to skip a year model. I don't think it would be a 2023 because they haven't announced a 2023 yet, so who knows. But I just considered it to be pretty good news for the Goldwing in America, in the United States, that they're, they're going to send me a bike to review. I don't think they would do that if they were planning on getting rid of the Goldwing, do you? So, anyway, that's my update on my thoughts on the 2023 Goldwing. I, again, I think they might just skip a year model or a model year. They did that in 2010. Uh, there was no 2011 Goldwing. Uh, they were waiting until they released the 2012. And so, anyway, enough of that. Um, I am in the process of finishing up my review of the Indian Pursuit. You can, you should be able to see that within the next, I'd say, week. I should have that done. Not only am I going to do a review of the Pursuit, I'm also going to do a comparison of the Indian Pursuit compared to this 2018 Honda Goldwing. So that, some of you might find that interesting. I know there's a lot of you out there interested in the Pursuit. Some of you out there actually own a Pursuit or a Challenger. I'm anxious to get that done. I think you're going to be very surprised at my findings and my opinions of this. It's the first time I've ever ridden an Indian motorcycle. I mean, this is, I shouldn't say that. I should say it's the first Indian motorcycle I've ever ridden. How's that? Because I have ridden it a few times back and forth. Uh, to uh, Einstein's. Also, update on my front tire. If you'll notice the last motor vlog, my front tire was low. I got home, I aired it up. <clears throat> when I got back in town after being gone for a week, I went out to the garage and it 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 didn't it felt low again. So I didn't ride it that day. I came home. I uh, decided to put it up on the lift. Some of you know I have the traction engine guard installed and I originally tried to use the lift with the engine guard and I advise against it. It made the worst crunching noise I've ever heard so I didn't want to damage the screws that hold that uh, engine guard in place because they're, you know, they're kind of small. Don't have a lot of thread on them. So I immediately, as soon as I heard that sound, I thought, no, I can't. You cannot lift this motorcycle with that engine guard in place. Now, it's possible if I were to get a 2x4 and put in between my scissor jack and that engine guard, that that would distribute the weight evenly across those two brackets, and then you might be able to get away with it. I haven't tried that yet. I may give that a test also. But nevertheless, I didn't have a 2x4 that size, so I went ahead and took off the engine guard, put it up, uh, jacked it up enough to get the front tire up in the air, and I did. I looked for a leak. I aired it up, looked for a leak. I couldn't hear anything. I didn't see any puncture. I didn't see a nail or a, a staple or anything in the tire. Uh, I didn't hear any hissing. I didn't hear any air coming out. 
so I don't know one thing I did discover though the the tire gauge on my air compressor is even though it's the same brand as my standalone tire gauge they're not even close they're like six pounds apart as far as the uh, as far as the pressure they show so I went ahead and used the uh, I got I, I went to the wrong place damn I got I took the wrong little thing here uh, I'm just gonna go around the block I'm trying to go to the grocery store <laughs> And I took the wrong a wrong turn, so I'm gonna have to go up here and do some something different. So when my uh, air compressor was showing 40 pounds, I tested it with my standalone uh, tire gauge, and it showed 36 pounds. So it was it was four to five pounds off. It's showing 35 to 36 pounds. So that could be part of the problem. Maybe when I aired it up the other day, I thought I was getting 40 pounds in and I was only getting 35. I don't know. I'm gonna have to now get a third tire gauge so I can test it and see exactly uh, which one is correct. I don't know which one of these streets goes all the way through. So anyway, I'm hoping, this is the third day and the tire does it does appear to be holding air. I check I checked it today uh, after the third day, and it still had uh, around 39 pounds. But it's cooler outside, so I thought, well, maybe it dropped a pound because cool air. But it appears it's holding air. So hopefully, I don't have a leak. I don't know, or maybe I have a very very slow leak in the front tire. I went ahead and ordered a brand new set of tires from Wing Stuff just to be safe so I'd have an extra set handy in case I need them so we'll see how that goes and I'm gonna head to the grocery store get my stuff done I want to thank all of you for joining me today for this uh, little rant and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up that really does help out the channel and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.